Hey guys, what's up? I feel like I haven't done a video talking in forever. I've had my silent moment. I'm a girl of uh, too many words and a whole lot of silence. <laughs> Balance. This makeup is given. I will be posting this tutorial. I probably already have at the time you're watching this video. So make sure if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. I believe it's one of the simplest, sexiest. Sluggish. It's, it's not a good feeling, okay? I'm gonna post this on YouTube. So hi YouTube, what's up? I know I don't have excuses. Let's just let's just go. So number one is I'm too old to judge a book by its cover. I've come to realize I'm one of those people who if you judge me by the cover, I'm finished. You don't sit back and watch a little bit longer than normal. You know, it's easy to pin me out as one thing that I probably would never be. A lot of people don't know this, but and although your girl is actually a nerd. Like people think I'm this, I don't know, vibrant, fun loving, and I am. I just feel like I have like different moods and, and like different like people at different times. It doesn't really catch me, but and the law, your girl is just, I don't know. If you, if you ever find me, I'm probably on my laptop looking for things. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm searching for it. So yeah, I feel like I'm there to What's the word? Extend the same grace to others. <laughs> Alright, number two is I am too old to people please. Oh my god, if you're still a people pleaser, you know, I don't know what to tell you, but exit, exit the building. Why are you running? Why are you running? I'm done with my people pleasing ways. I don't care what anyone thinks about how I look, how I dress. I knew if anything, I have a certain way I kind of like to dress and I feel like I was very constricted for like a long, a long time. But now that I'm grown and I'm in my 30s, I'm like, you know what? If I decide I'm gonna wear a thong and a bra and walk the streets of Lagos, that's what it is. <laughs> not really. I'm not that crazy. Well, I'm <laughs> so, number three, I'm too old to not laugh at anything and everything. Anybody who knows me knows that I have a pretty good sense of humor. It can be dark sometimes, but it's pretty good. Laughter is good medicine, and laughter is free. You don't have to go to like chemist, you don't have to go to a pharmacy, you don't have to see a doctor. Okay, let me tell you a trick, okay, because I love tricks. One thing I've noticed is, once I can laugh at a situation, no matter how ugly it is, yeah, somehow, like, it's like some part of your brain, like, opens up and like you get like the solution or like you get like this new perspective and problem is solved. Number four is I am too old for that triad-ish. One thing about me, I'm like pretty nice, pretty sweet, but like once I just notice some dark triad behaviors, it's like kind of things they just like it's like it's like an instant like light switch and I'm like no. No no no. <laughs> no. If you just move a certain way, I just have to like turn around and do it differently. It's just it's just for protection. Okay. <laughs> and for my side, yeah. Number five, I'm too old to prove anything. We've all gone through this when they tell you to prove the formula. Formula that has been proven since the 1800s. You want to see that here and prove it? Why do I need to prove it? <sighs> I'm a soft girl. I'm a tired girl. And I don't believe in trying too hard. I just believe that things should be effortless. I'm not saying you need to put in work. I'm just saying I like to go with the ebb and flow. And proving oneself doesn't, it doesn't go with the ebb and flow. You know? I'm too old to grow. That's what helps me because honestly, sometimes you want to look at this world from a very mature, logical, realistic ah, 
Fikris. I believe the Lulu is a true Lulu. And it's the Sululu. I forgot how to say it. <laughs> the Lulu makes me happy, you know. In fact, I'm very guilty of running away from reality. Yeah. I'm too old to watch please. But that's literally or metaphorically, I'm not in that department, honey. Okay. Your girl's androgynous by nature. Well, yeah, I think the thing that's going to be confused. And I remember telling my mom and she was like, go and pray about it. <laughs> Every single thing, go and pray about it. What do you mean? <laughs> but then to be honest, like, I did pray about it. And that is not my way. That is, I move in the right side. I move along the right path. <laughs> okay? That's not my path. Eh? And technically, yeah, it's like your first bond that I've watched enough plates. I, I mean that literally. <laughs> and metaphorically, I just feel like your girl's a baby girl. I belong to daddy daycare. I love to be catered to, so... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I promise you guys 10. Okay, number 8 is I'm too old to not have fun. I like to have fun. I'm not someone who takes life so seriously. I mean, I just take certain parts of life seriously. I think people get me confused. It's not that I'm not serious. Number nine, I am too old for movies without a happy ending. For this one, yeah. If you've seen me before, you, I saw this movie. I don't even know who sent me. After seeing like lots of, you know how you get like those TikTok recommendations, and I was like, I really love the chemistry between like the characters. Because these days it's hard to find like you know characters that actually do have great chemistry, like in a movie. Someone. I want this movie, what is this movie, what is movie, I was watching it. <laughs> Sorry for hovering around the accents. I finished watching this movie. And I, I think for three days to one week, I was just, it's just like, I'll just move and play. Like, I almost lost my mind. I don't know who wrote, it can't be one person. They both just, like, all that guy that's together to write that script. You owe me an explanation, because, I feel like it would have been so easy to give us a happy ending. I don't mean those kind of happy endings, okay? <laughs> Although that kind of happy ending would be nice, but <laughs> let's focus. I think it's crazy sad that they just end the movie the way they did. There were a billion other routes the movie could have taken. Life is a little heartbreaking as it is. I do believe movies should have like, you know, a feel good ending. It's just my personal uh, opinion, I guess, my two cents, okay? And number 10, I guess I'm too old to, to not be myself. Yeah, that's it. That's a good one too. I'm just happy that I get to be myself. My mom is always down with me. Be yourself. Be kind of advice. I want you to me. You give me advice. I'm like, what is this? Because <laughs> I'm naturally stubborn and I usually don't get things like at first when it's said. Like I literally have to like go and sit down and even though the advice is so simple, like to you it's like what version of me can I be that be acceptable to all? But be yourself is just basically be yourself. Be the yourself that God created you to be. And for me it's just to be, I don't know, a little bit wild and free. <laughs> a lot wild and free and to, you know, express myself in the most, you know, unique ways artistically and I guess just love on the people that I love, you know, and just uh, annoy a few people. <laughs> that comes with the territory. I can't, I can't, I can't change. I think the most beautiful thing is to be very comfortable in yourself, your self-expression, exactly who God created you to be. You know, the first way to be that you actually have to know. That's that, that. I think that's the thing that had me so confused as a kid. Like everyone saying to be myself, but I'm like, I don't know who I am. I have like all these, all these personalities. I'm here this way today. I'm this way tomorrow. I'm this way. I'm like, I'm like, oh, well, I've calmed down and I've let God show me exactly who and what I am. And I'm like, you know what? Actually, I think I'm pretty cool. You know? And yeah. So just getting to that place. I think that's an achievement of its own and I think that's when life actually starts when you actually get to know yourself. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys more than you know. And yeah, make sure to like this video and uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next one.